Hi there, I hope you're doing well. Welcome here. Maybe you've heard others talk about how much they benefit from meditation, or perhaps you've played with the thought of giving meditation a try, or you might be meditating regularly. In this video, I'd like to look at why meditation can be beneficial and specifically what science has to say about it. A first important thought when discussing meditation is that what people actually do when they meditate can be quite different depending on which form of meditation they practice. This could either be focusing on your breath, body, feelings, or thoughts, concentrating on an object, or repeating specific words, thoughts, or sentences. Research on meditation has received a lot of attention in the past few decades, with thousands of studies reporting their results. My PhD supervisor, Peter Sedelmeier, is very invested in meditation research, and he's written a book summarizing the effects of meditation. He and his team also did a meta-analysis on the effects of meditation. A meta-analysis is a summarized study that looks at the effects that many individual studies found and then summarizes them. And what they found in the study is that meditation first and foremostly affected the meditator's emotions. I thought that was pretty interesting because often we think that meditation helps you focus, which it also does, but first and foremostly, it actually changed the emotional experience of meditators. The first three effects were improved social relationships, reduced anxieties and fears, and less other negative emotions. They also found an improvement in mindfulness, perception, and attention. And they also looked at if meditation could be perceived as a relaxation technique, or if it actually had benefits that went beyond the benefits of a relaxation technique. And it's probably obvious, but yes, meditation is more than just a relaxation technique. It had additional benefits. Other studies have found benefits of meditation, like reducing stress and depression, increasing the quality of life, and even physical benefits like lowering blood pressure. Research has also compared the brain activity of meditators and non-meditators and found that it's very different in many different parts of the brain. And not only the brain activity is different in meditators, even the structure of their brain is different. So research found differences in the brain structure of meditators in more than 15 different parts of the brain. Amongst these are the prefrontal cortex, which is associated with a consciousness of oneself, one's feelings, thoughts, and what one is doing. Also, there was a difference in the insula and somatomotor cortex, which is associated with an awareness of what's going on in the body. The hippocampus was different, which is associated with memory, and the anterior cingulate cortex, which is associated with emotion regulation. So all in all, these findings strongly suggest that meditation can lead to long-term differences and changes in the brain. One study even found that the biological makeup of the brain in 50-year-old meditators was 7.5 years younger than in non-meditators. So now there's this hypothesis that meditation may even slow down the aging of the brain. These findings are very encouraging for meditators or people who wonder if they should give meditation a try. Still, I'd like to add that the history of meditation research is comparatively young, and there are many questions which remain to be answered. So definitely keep your ears open for any more news on the benefits of meditation. And if you'd like, subscribe to this channel because I'll be talking about meditation and mindfulness regularly. One thing that is missing mainly, or the main question that remains to be answered, is how exactly does meditation lead to these benefits? Investigating a practice and then the effects is one thing, but that doesn't offer an explanation why those effects are coming about through this practice. So this is something that researchers are developing as we speak so that we 
can have a theory about why meditation has the benefits that it has and then test that theory more guidedly in research rather than just observing and noticing, oh, this and this are, are effects of meditation. I've looked at a few of these newly emerging theories of meditation and a basic idea that they all include is that meditation leads to an increased awareness of what is going on around us and an increased awareness of what's going on inside of us. And this increased awareness in turn leads to insights into the situation. And these additional insights, which we wouldn't have had without our increased awareness, will then lead to a different reaction to the situation. We might be appraising it differently, questioning if what we are interpreting is what is actually going on, for example, which then of course changes the way we react to others and our social lives and also our emotional lives. Let's look at an example of what this might look like. Let's say someone is criticized for something they did. And before they started meditating, they might just spontaneously react by a counterattack, by listing everything that is wrong with the critic, or by ignoring that it happened in the first place and numbing the experience with alcohol, shopping, food, or other agents. Or they might react by overcompensating next time, trying to be perfect next time, to not be criticized again. Or they might lash out at another person that had nothing to do with it or was only marginally part of the story. But let's say the person has an increased awareness because of meditation. Then the person might ask themselves or be aware of other things of the situation like facts about the critic. What's going on in the critic? What is the story of the critic? What is making the critic act the way he or she is acting? Is the critic at all someone to take criticism from? Or they might be more aware of what is going on in their own life. Like, what is this criticism triggering inside of me? What deeper issues? And they might notice that, actually, I don't want to take criticism from anonymous accounts on the internet. Or this criticism somehow triggered a deeper unresolved issue inside of me. It's making me question my worth and it's making me feel anxious and depressed. And before I engage with the situation in any other way, I want to first of all make sense of what's going on inside of me. So then the person will react differently than those spontaneous reactions, which I mentioned first. And this will change social relationships and emotional experiences. And this is probably one of the main reasons why meditation is so beneficial for so many people, because it increases our awareness of what is going on in life and an increased awareness of ourselves, of others, of life in general, also helps us to act more in, according to, in accordance with our goals, which then increases the likelihood that we will actually reach them. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. If you're new here and you'd like to stay in touch, remember to hit the subscribe button. Everyone else, please like, comment, share, and take care. I look forward to being in contact again soon. Bye-bye.